In this video, we're going to show you how to replace a front caliper on your Chevy Silverado. This will be located behind the front wheel. Let's get started. Using a 22 millimeter socket, remove the six lug nuts. Remove the wheel. Using a 19 millimeter socket, remove the caliper bolts. Get them both loose before you remove them. Using a flat blade screwdriver, we're gonna pry the caliper back. We're gonna use a hook, hang it off the control arm, and we're gonna put our caliper on that hook so there's no tension sitting on our brake hose. Remove the pads from the bracket. Using an 18 millimeter socket, remove the caliper bracket bolts. Remove the caliper bracket. Remove the two 18 millimeter bolts. Get them both loose before you remove them. Pull the caliper away from the bracket. Pull out the caliper pins. We're going to wipe these off and add new grease. We're going to use some silicone paste on these. Install it back in, work it around. Make sure the pin moves freely. Do the same thing on the other one. I'm going to put a light skim coat of caliper grease on the valleys where our tins are going to sit. Do this on both sides. Using a clean rag, wipe the insides so when we install this we don't get grease on our rotors. Install the shims. Before installing the caliper bolts, we're going to clean them with a wire wheel, clean off this old thread locker and put some new thread locker on. Install the caliper bracket. Install the caliper bolts with the new thread locker on them. Torque the caliper bracket bolts to 170 foot-pounds. Install the brake pads. Be sure that the squealer tab is on bottom. Before installing the caliper bolts, be sure you clean off the old thread locker and we're gonna install some new. Torque the caliper bolts to 74 foot-pounds.
if you need to, you can use a wrench to hold the inner to torque the outer. Using an 11 millimeter socket, remove the union bolt for the brake line. Be sure to not leave any copper washers on the brake line. Make sure you have a crush washer on the union bolt. Install it into the brake line. Install the second crush washer onto the back side of that bolt. Get it installed into the caliper. Snug the union bolt down. Torque the union bolt to 30 foot-pounds. If you used a hook, go ahead and remove that now. We're gonna gravity bleed our caliper. We're gonna remove that bleeder cap. So we're gonna install a bottle to collect all of the fluid. We're gonna use our 10 millimeter wrench. Open the bleeder. We're gonna wait for a nice steady drip to come into our hose. We're gonna be looking for no bubbles. Once we have no bubbles, go ahead and close down the bleeder. Make it nice and snug. Remove the bottle. Wipe the area of any brake fluid. Reinstall the bleeder cap. Install the wheel. Get the lug nuts started. Snug the lug nuts down. Torque the lug nuts in a star pattern to 140 foot-pounds. We're gonna come check the master for one last time and fill it up to the max. Open that cap. Top off the fluid to that max mark. Reinstall the cap. And you're good to go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.